Bleed black and gold, buff forever. You already know, man. It's your boy, you know T Green, and I'm back with another one. Boy, I tell you, when it rains, it pours because I just watched Coach Bartolone. Y'all already know the old wide receiver coach who moved down to the defensive end coach press conference. I mean, not defensive end, tight ends coach. Uh, Brett Bartolone, y'all. Excuse me, y'all, because it's, it's so much news and drama going on right now. I mean, I'm just frustrated at the moment. But anyway, y'all, like I was saying, I just watched uh, Coach Bartolone uh, press conference. And, you know, the question was asked, do you see anything, you know, changing in your particular room, you know, the tight end room. And he said, you never know. I don't anticipate any, but if that were the case, then it's next man up. And we're always looking to upgrade the roster and elevate the tight end room for the University of Colorado. So when he said that, I'm like, all right, that's just, you know, what coaches say. That's the politically, um, politically correct answer, right? No, man, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe he knew something I didn't, obviously, because it's being reported, y'all, that the tight end, Shaman Matia or Matia, y'all know me, I mess up names, man. So y'all go ahead and laugh at me and get down in that comment section because right now, bruh has entered the transfer portal again and he just entered the transfer portal i mean we just got him from cincinnati and everybody was looking forward to this big time tight end doing his thing i mean we saw in bucket video him catching passes in practice you know trying to go ahead and a hey, groove with should do it let me see how he throw the ball what's his count you know all of that good stuff that you need to know about your quarterback so you could be effective out there on the field and you mean to tell me you hitting the transfer portal like this this was shocking. I, I mean, <laughs> this probably more shocking than the Kamari McClain store because I was not expecting this one. I mean, this just caught me by surprise, surprise, because y'all know I did a big video on this dude and how having a guy like him who could catch the ball, who could run block, who could pass block, and could get downfield. I mean, come on, man. You like a big bag of gumbo. You just got all the ingredients. But he has entered the transfer portal. So the only thing we could do is salute him. But we ain't done, y'all. We is not finished, y'all. I got more news. Also today, Wednesday, Hopefully I get this video out on time. If not, you'll probably be watching it the next day on Thursday. But anyway, y'all, outside linebacker Kyrie Mans and safety Vito Tisdale has added their name to the transfer portal as well. They packing they Louis Bell, Louis bags. I said Bells. Lord have mercy, y'all. It's still that coffee from earlier. Y'all saw me drinking that thing during the Kamarni video. I mean, I am hype right now. But anyway, y'all. They have entered their names into the transfer portal. And they only been with us for one season. Um, uh, Kyrie Mans, you know what I mean? He, of course, of course, I'm not going to say he had a crazy season. But, you know, you got to give it to him now. He started and played. And I won't say started because he only started one of those uh, games. But he played in 11 games, y'all. And, you know, he started in the first one versus TCU. And he, pre he did pretty decent, right? Now, throughout the year, he only recorded nine tackles in the sack for the season. I get that. But this dude had a lot of potential. You know, when he was out there at Maine, he racked up like 108 tackles, y'all. I mean, he was out there doing his thing. So, when he came out here to see you Buffaloes, I was kind of expecting the same thing. But, I didn't see it. And I'm sure you didn't see it either because we watched the video. And he's a cool dude, you know, from upstate New York. But at the end of the day, you know, he got out here and just, I don't know, he just couldn't get over that hump. But he's a big dude. He's 330 pounds. So, you know, hey, he represents for everybody out there in New Rochelle, New York. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, like I said, you know, he was doing his thing out there when he played for um uh Maine. But, you know, <sighs> it's just one of those things, though. But I hate to see Kyrie go because he's a good dude. And if you ever watch any of his press conferences, man, he's real articulate. He speaks well, you know. It's like, you know, I could tell that he's... He 
he's one of those dudes who has great potential. I'm not going to front. I just don't think we got to see that in him. That's just being real, you know, at least not for our CU Buffaloes. So I, I really do wish him the best, and hopefully he could get with a program that, you know, he could get out there and show what he has. Because let's be honest here, he probably wouldn't be a starter this year, and he would hate to be kind of second man up, third man up type situation. That wouldn't be a good look for him. So, you know, go out there, transfer, you know, enjoy your senior year uh, with another program where you could be that starter and you could be that particular, that that. that Dude, you know what I mean? I ain't mean to say particularly. You could be that dude. So, hey, Kyrie, do your thing, man. Last but not least, we got to talk about Vito Tisdale, y'all. Now, I know a lot of y'all probably wonder, who? Who? Y'all got to remember, y'all. He was that former Kentucky defensive back, y'all. And unfortunately, he's one of those players, I would say, just can't get it right physically because he's staying hurt. You know, all the time he's hurt. So we couldn't really see how he was going to play out. Now, like I said, he came from Kentucky, right? But he dealt with injuries during the 2023 season. So he only played in three games for Coach Prime now. You know what I mean? So I can't take nothing away from him because we didn't even see enough now. He got two years left on the book. So it is smart for him to enter the transfer portal. I hate to lose players, so I'm not trying to big up like, hey, hey, you get in the transfer portal. You get in the transfer portal. You get in the transfer portal. No, 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 no. I'm not that type of dude. I'm not trying to show hate. But at the end of the day, this probably was the best situation for him because with him in the portal, now he could go play for somebody and hopefully get some good playing time and get and can get out there and show what he has to offer as well. Long as he don't stay hurt, you know what I mean? So, hey, he had the heart because he also played, you know, in that nickel defense. So this would have been a good look for him, especially now that we know our new defensive coordinator is running that nickel package. And you see Travis Hunter done drop down. Uh, he playing the nickel. So, you know, this dude here, Vito, probably could have played that because remember when he was out there in Kentucky, he was playing at the safety position. You know what I mean? He not have played at the defensive back position. So, you know, he logged about 39 tackles out there, you know, during that 2022 season. And uh, he probably did a little bit more. I, I just got a few basic stats on him because like I say, y'all, we haven't seen much. So it's kind of hard to engage, but it's sad to see uh, Vito leave without really showing us what he could really do. But we wish him nothing but the best. We wish all three of these dudes nothing but the best. But man, out of all of them, boy, I was not expecting to see our tight end go. Lord have mercy. We're going to have to have Sam step up. We're going to have to figure some things out, boy. We, we need to go and recruit us two tight ends right now. I mean, we do have other players that I covered, and I'm not in this video, I'm not going to go too in depth on them again, but we just need, we need that one, one more for show sure guy. You know what I mean? You got to agree with that, but you already know the motto. You already know the motto, man. Another day above ground is what? Truly a blessing. Like, share, subscribe, tune in with your boy, you know, T Green. I'm going to be right back with another one.